My dad's hands said it all. They were so calloused, so tough. He worked so hard for us. I remember him telling me, I don't want you ever to have hands like mine. Like all parents, he just wanted us to have it a little easier than he did. I'm LeVar Stoney. My parents were teenagers when they had me, and I was raised by my dad and my grandma, Marvin and Mary. My dad worked multiple jobs so we could live in York County, where I could go to a better school. He just wanted me to have a fair shot, but there's no way around it. We were poor. My dad wasn't perfect, but he would tell me I could do anything if I worked hard enough. And when he tucked me in at night, he'd tell me these stories about kids who go to college. That was his dream for me, and I took it to heart. I became the first person in my family to graduate high school and then college. After graduating, I found my sense of purpose in public service. I worked my way up. I became the first black secretary of the Commonwealth and helped restore voting rights for almost 200,000 people. Eventually, I became the youngest mayor in the history of Richmond. This was a city that had a lot of problems that needed to be fixed. The finances were a mess, the schools were neglected, basic services weren't working. To a lot of people, Richmond had been written off. I guess they didn't know what you could accomplish with some hard work. We made historic investments to uplift the city and to improve the lives of the people who live in it. We fixed our crumbling roads and infrastructure. We reduced the poverty rate by 22%. We got our fiscal house in order, and the city now has a budget surplus. We brought down Confederate statues that don't reflect our values and built up new schools that do. Now, Richmond is rated the number one place to live in Virginia. Unfortunately, my dad wasn't here to see what we accomplished. We lost him at age 49. But I'll always remember what he taught me, that I could do anything if I work hard enough. Right now, families across Virginia are struggling just like mine did. Kids aren't getting the education they deserve just because they live in the wrong zip code. And we've got a governor who is more worried about his own agenda than yours and more focused on taking away people's rights than lifting them up, banning abortion, banning books, making it harder to vote. He's working on an extreme agenda that doesn't represent who we are. It just divides us and then nothing gets done. We can't afford to sit on our hands and do nothing. It's time we put the hopes and dreams of Virginians first. That's why I'm running for governor, for families like mine that just need an opportunity, for kids like me who will thrive in school if they just get the right chance, and for parents like my dad who work multiple jobs and still struggle to live a secure, middle-class life. Soon I'll be a dad too. My wife Brandy and I want the same thing for our daughter that my dad wanted for me, a fair shot at success. That's what I want for all Virginia families. That will only happen if we roll up our sleeves and work as hard as we possibly can to actually get things done. Thankfully, that's all I know. It's in my DNA.